everybody, I'm Todd and I hope you're having a great day. For Black Friday, Waves is offering a new free plugin. It's their Silk Vocal and there's a Silk Vocal Live version. So let's check them out. Now looking at the interface here on Silk Vocal, we can see that it's a nice clean layout. Now it doesn't have the simplicity of a one knob control, but neither does it have the granularity for full detailed control of all the effects being applied, which in this case is EQ and compression. So I place this kind of in a middle ground. It's not necessarily for a complete beginner that doesn't understand how to apply effects, but it's also not aimed at those that want complete control of every individual aspect of each track and in their mix. So kind of in a midpoint here. Let's take a look through the uh, controls. We have the option here for male and female vocal. That's gonna change the way the algorithms apply things in the background here. Then we have three bands, low, mid, and high. And we have a fixed range for low and high. Note that we can change the scale on the high band if we want to see a little different look. The mid band, on the other hand, allows us to actually dial in a certain area we want to process. So a little more adjustment there. Beyond that, what we can do is just dial up each section higher or lower, listen to them individually, cancel any one of them out if we like. Plus, we can hear just the change only, which is nice to see here. There's a dynamics control. It gives us dynamics and output. Speed is the attack release all in one and precision. It gives us the uh, cue, essentially the width of the, uh, of the filter. And then finally we have a gate. It's going to allow us to filter out those uh, noises in between the, the vocals. So let's check it out and uh, see what we can do. Long gone, but you're ever so near And I hold on to my fever dreams So long as I sleep you are here When I close my eyes it's you that I see Now, another interesting thing I found about this plugin is that we can apply it to vocals that already are heavily processed. So doublers, decay, reverb. I wanna hear 
Now, I also want to show you the live version of this plugin. So it's designed for ultra low latency. And if we take a look here, we can see that the live version, I'm showing only 1.3 milliseconds, whereas I have about 22, almost 23 milliseconds with the regular plugin here. I can change things up a little bit in Studio One to affect this. But of course, it gives you an idea that 1.3 milliseconds is very usable for tracking. Now, if you signed up with the early reservation link I provided in a video earlier this month, this is a plugin you're going to get or you may already have it. If not, I'll have a link below that you can download this for free. Now, I wouldn't say this plugin is designed for absolute beginners. There's quite a few controls in here that if you don't really understand anything about EQ or compression, can be a bit intimidating. By the same token, if you're used to having exact detailed control of every aspect of your tracks and mix, not necessarily the choice for you either, although there can be some workflow advantages here. But if you're kind of in the middle and you're starting to apply a little more effects to your tracks, this could be a good option. Also, again, if you want to be very easy on it and just have a little bit of dynamics and EQ for tracking, it may be worth experimenting. So a few different things to check out here. I also like the live version. So if you produce any live concerts or otherwise, this could be a really good application in that case where you don't want to go through and tweak every last individual setting. It can make a setup a lot easier here and the latency is super low. So it's good that way as well. And of course, if you want to check out other plugins or other hardware, check out one of the videos on the screen. I really appreciate you joining me today and I will see you next time.